begins. First of all, I want to say I apologize. I'm completely sorry. This place is a mess. I've been throwing out some pottery. I will get it organized and cleaned up. Don't knock me and hold it against me. But pottery begins with clay. So you get your clay, you wedge it, and form it over here into a ball. Then you take it over here and you go to the wheel. You slam it down, you pull the clay up, you form what you're trying to make. Then it goes from here, I send it over to that, to this side over here. Once I get the clay over here, then I prepare it to go into the bisque fire. It goes in the kiln, I fire it at 1800 and something degrees. It comes out of the kiln, comes right here. I check for uh, any little infections that I need to do uh, and fix. And then I wax, wax the bottoms. That's this right here. I wax the bottoms of the pieces because once you put wax resist on the pieces, then the glaze can't stick to the bottom. That way the glaze won't stick to my kiln shelves when I glaze fire. So after I get them done here, the wax and stuff, then they go to the buckets right here. These are all different colors of glaze that I have. Besides uh, these right here, I have these, uh, some in uh, pint size. And uh, I glaze this, and then they go into the kiln, and then I glaze fire at 2,332 degrees. And then the kiln shuts off, then you gotta let it cool down, and it takes a whole day to cool down before you can open it. So when you do all this process, you're super excited to see how did your pieces come out? Because they don't all come out right, you know? So you just pray for the best. So let's go look at my pieces. Okay, first off the bat, I got a plate that warped. Can you see how the plates warped? The colors didn't do like I wanted to because it has too much sandstone here in the middle of the plate uh, and not enough Aurora Green was put on the edge of the plate. So this plate is trashed, no good. So next up, we got the little shindig things that I made. This is the state of Arkansas with shindig on it. And what I'm gonna do is uh, put magnets on the back of these and then they can stick to your refrigerator. So that's what these will be for. All right, this is a cup <laughs> that uh, I was experimenting with. <coughs> I did the handle of red, and this is <laughs> like a little Aurora green, so uh, it's okay. It's not my joyful thing. Uh oh. Uh-oh, so I'll have to get that off. It kind of stuck to my little Kim shelf here. But this is my uh, butter bowl. So I'll put my homemade butter into here. And... It will go into this bowl, sit down into there. That's a butter bowl that I made. A butter bell is what they call it. So this is nothing, just poop, it'll pop off. Okay, this is a little glass, a little bowl that I made. You can use it for like dip or something like that. It's cute. Todd broke my shelf. Todd did this. I told him it was gonna run but he didn't listen to me. 
This is supposed to be in a spoon rest, so he put the glass in, but this has to set flat in order for it to work. I knew the glass was gonna run out, so it ran out on the chem shifts until Todd's got some mess to clean up. This is just a little cup, little glass. <laughs> This is a little bowl. Boy, it's got some pretty drips and runs. It almost went too far, but it didn't. This is a bowl that Todd wanted to refire that uh, didn't come out good. Better than it did. Yeah, but. These are some shindig pieces. I'm using these because if you, I put the states, I put them backwards. <laughs> Let's get down to the nitty gritty now. This is a cute little glass. It's got the sandstone in it. It's got the blue, the midnight blue, and it's got like streaks of red on it. I like this one. Here's a spoon wrist that I made. That's neat. You set by your stove. Alrighty, here's my coffee cup I made. I made this cup specifically for me. Look, I crooked the handle and put it over in to where there's no mistaking that this is my cup. <laughs> All right, uh oh, look at here, y'all. Look at this cup. Look who it belongs to. United we stand. Boy, the handle came out gorgeous. Look down inside that cup. I had put his name on it. It's got a few drips where it dripped a little bit too far. So I'll just put that on my diamond grinder and it'll just smooth that out and that drip right there too. And perfect, perfect, it looks good. Y'all see that purple and gold down there? <laughs> LSU. So I'll be mailing that cup to him Monday. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is called the Twisted Mug. I made this and I called it the Twisted Mug. I purposefully twisted it. Look at the colors on this mug. Is that not gorgeous or what? Absolutely gorgeous. Read what you sow. So this mug will be up for grabs if anybody's interested in purchasing this mug. Here's another mug that's up for sale. If you're interested in the folded handle. These hold really well when they're crooked like that because your fingers just fit perfect. Look how pretty that is. I love how that sandstone just leaves that in there and this is Aurora Green over that sandstone. So this cup is for sale if anybody would like to purchase this cup. Okay, here is a bowl that I made came out pretty good. Look at the drips and the runs on it. See, I put wax resist to try to slow the runs down to where it don't run off and get on my chem shelves. So it actually did pretty good. This bowl looks awesome. It's got butter cream in the middle. Look at that swirl. But this bowl is for sale. Anybody wants it. Okay, here's another mug. That is a coffee cup that's for sale. That's the two colors together, isn't it? Yes, this is, uh, no, I don't think so. Did you do it? Yes. Okay. That's two mixed together. It looks good. So this cup is for sale if anybody's interested in this cup. 
Okay. This is Todd's. This is not for sale. He wanted me to make him a thing to put in the shower so he can put his toothpaste in it and put his razor in it. So he wanted holes in it to drain. He wanted it to be up off the thing when it sat down. So I had to cut feet in it. <laughs> and this is Todd's cup for the shower to hold his razor and toothpaste. Look at the colors on the inside, y'all. Oh, oh right. wow. Look at this cup, people. Wow, look at that cup. Absolutely gorgeous. I made this cup and I put the handle down at the bottom. It is absolutely gorgeous. So this cup, oh man, look inside. Look inside that cup. So this cup is for sale if anybody's interested in this cup. Okay, here we have another spoon rest that you can put beside your stove when you're cooking and stuff. So this is for sale. It's sandstone and Aurora green. Mixed. Mixed? Yep. Okay. See, I messed up and I uh, put my sandstone and put Aurora Green together. I didn't read the buckets. So I've got like three quarters of a five gallon bucket full of a glaze that I just mixed myself. <laughs> so, but this is what it come out to be. So that's for sale. <sighs> well, the bottom shelf, I've got a little mess down here. So this is a cup that I made here. So the glaze ran and it stuck on my little furniture piece that I had to protect my Kim shelf. So this is nothing. So you just, the a diamond grinder will pop this off and this will be good to go and you'll never tell that it was like that. But this is a gorgeous cup too. What color is that? Mmm, all buttercreams and oranges and stuff. It looks good. Okay, here's a, another cup. I'm not going to try to pop it off because it dripped a little bit too. So it'll be the same thing. Boy, look at the run on that handle. How that did. Absolutely gorgeous, the colors in this. Look down in that cup. Looks good, huh? So this is nothing, y'all. You'll never be able to tell that that was like that. I'm scared to pop it off. I'm, uh, I don't wanna cut myself. Look at this. This is a coffee pour over. So how this works, God, that's gorgeous, ain't it? How this works is you put your coffee filter in here. This comes off. <laughs> I'm not gonna pull it off right now because I don't wanna cut my finger. Last time I did that and cut my finger, I gotta wait time to get some gloves on. But this comes off, so this round piece right here sits on top of your coffee cup like this. And you pour your hot water over your coffee grounds or your tea and it's a coffee pour over. Oh, really? Yep, off grid. No electricity required. So, God, that looks good. Okay. Mm. So, this is what we got. These are coasters that I made. I glazed them and then I put glass. I broke a glass and put pieces of glass on here and they sit and it melted on. These are not food grade safe. These are a coaster you can use for your coffee cups, your drinks or whatever. So 
uh, I'll have like little foam tabs underneath so it doesn't scratch your tables and stuff like that. That's what these are for. I had four, but two broke. <laughs> I ain't got them out yet. So, these are kind of hard to make because if you accidentally put too much glass in there, well, I could probably fix that back. <laughs> accidentally put too much glass in there, then it causes them to crack and break. So you gotta be careful with the amount of glass that you put on these. All right, this guys is heartbreaking because I was working on making Leanne a set of plates for her table. And this is how they came out. They warped. I bought a plate rack that they were supposed to set on to keep from doing this. Well, it did not work. So they're gonna have to sit completely flat in order. And people wonder why plates are so expensive. They sell for like $25 a plate. Because it, you, it takes a while to get the set made. I know some potters that don't do plates because of this reason right here. And uh, so, I'm gonna try again. That's all I can do, guys. But next time, I'll probably do just a kim of plates to where the plates can sit flat and not hang like that plate. The first plate I took out, it was hanging off the shelf. And that's why it was kind of bowed like that. But guys, I thank you. I appreciate you for watching. If any of you are interested in any of these pieces that I have for sale, you can email me at Jareth, J-E-R-R-I-A-T-H, Lejeune, L-E-J-E-U-N-E, -E -E, at gmail.com. I will have the email address linked down below. And uh, you can email me and uh, I'll send you the price for the piece and the price for shipping, and you can PayPal, and then we'll ship. Thank you guys, God bless, and stay tuned for another pottery video. At least we did have some pieces come out gorgeous. Thanks guys, bye.